Oh, everybody. Oh, my hair is wet again. So I can barely see. Um, but I finished another book. I finished this one today. Um, so I'm actually recording the video the day that I finished it. Um, and that is... The 21 Balloons. You can barely see that. The cover's shiny, which I really, really do not like. Um, like, at all. Um. No, that's worse. Um, I don't like glossy covers like this. Like, just not my vibe. Um, and it's like shiny, it feels weird. Uh, uh, don't like it. Um, this was the bookmark that I used. Um, there's some kind of berry. I thought snowberries. There might be cranberries. There's something. Um, but I picked this one because they're round. They look a little bit like balloons. Like, this one right here looks a little bit like a balloon. I don't know. That's the one I picked. Um, so, funny story that goes, not super funny, but it's a story that I'm going to tell. Um, I used to watch this YouTuber called Stacy Plays, and I loved her so much. Um, and she had a series called Bookcraft, where she would build stuff in Minecraft from books um, that she read when she was younger. And this was one of them. And I was going through... Oh, this is also by William Penet Dubois, is how I'm guessing that that is spelled. Um, and so she... Like, she was built stuff in Minecraft from this book. And I got a wave of my childhood and had to go back and I had to read this. Because I had never read it before. Um, but I it's, it's fairly interesting. I gave it four stars. Um, just because at some points it's a little boring. Like, it just talks about a lot about, um, like, inventions. Um, it came out in 1947. And it is about this island of Krakatoa, which is real, apparently, which is, like, and it was the biggest explosion of all time or something, something like that, something crazy like that, um, and so this is, like, a fictional story about the families and the, the people living on the island, um, before it exploded and how they, like, escaped and everything, um, so it's a super interesting book, it's a super cool concept, I love, um, hot air balloons, like, my desktop is a, a picture of a bunch of hot air balloons, I just think that they're so pretty and cool, um, so this was a, a perfect book for me, um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, it was fun, I need to stop touching my hair, because it's, I just washed it, but I cannot see, um, it was a fairly simple book, it's got pictures in it, which I like, um, let me find you. So w there's a diamond mine on the planet. That's not it. Um, and they've got diamonds the size of cobblestones. Which I think is super cool. I just, I don't know. It's just fun. Um, so here's the photo of the diamond mine. And he's like grabbing up some diamonds. Um, but yeah. I like it. It was it was a satisfying book all around. It was it was nicely paced. Um, it's a book for younger children, I'm pretty sure, um, just because of the fact that it's illustrated. But I mean, it really is for anybody. Like I completely enjoyed it. Didn't what didn't felt like my knowledge was being undermined or anything. Um, I thought it was good. Uh, I'm reading another book now, which I probably will not finish by Sunday or by Saturday night. Um, I just, I do not foresee, it's a, it's a longer book, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to finish. Um, but I wanted to talk about this idea that I had while we're here. Um, I love the Oscars. Uh, when Jessica Chastain won her Oscar, I was screaming. I was so excited. Uh, and I also love books. So I had this idea to combine the both and do at that, like, towards the end of the year, I will do an Oscar-type ceremony for all of the books that I've read um, in one year and call it The Dog Ears. And so the, that will be my 
my award ceremony um, will be called the dog ears. Um, and it'll just be like, like there will be one for best cover, best author, best book overall, best fiction, um, best memoir. Uh, it just depends on, on what books I finish. Like I've only read one essay collection, um, and I only, I haven't read any short story collection, which I'm, I'm going to change. Um, I've read, I could do best classic. Uh, so there's just like a bunch of categories that I could do. Um, and so, I don't know. I don't dog ear my pages, by the way. I know some people really, really hate that. Um, if you do it with your own books that you buy with your money and, you know, like that's completely... It's up to you. That's your book. You can do whatever you want with it. But if you do it to a library book, I don't trust you. Um, or if you borrow someone's book and you dog ear their page. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, don't don't fold people's pages. They're not yours. Um, anyway. So I thought that that's what I would call it. I don't know. I just like that's has to do with books. I thought it was interesting. Um, I just like that name, the dog ears. Um, but yeah, so that was my idea. I was thinking about it all day today. Um, how I'll like, I'll get up dressed all fancy. Um, I can have some of my friends come over and we can present the awards. Like, it'll be so silly, but it just, it sounds so fun. Um, so that's my idea. I wanted to put it out in the universe before I forgot it. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, like if I read one that, that has dog ear buzz, um, and maybe I'll change the name. Um, but for the foreseeable future, it's called the dog ears. Um, and I think that's it. I will probably see you May 1st if I, cause I don't, I can't imagine finishing this book. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll finish a different book. We'll see. This is my fourth book of April. And I said I wanted to finish three or four books in April. So I reached my goal for April. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might see you May 1st. I might see you sooner. If not, either, either way, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day tomorrow and the day after and the day after and great day tomorrow, the day after and the day after. And then I'll see you the day after, after, after. All right. <laughs>